Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Faith Builder. I hope you're doing well this Easter week leading up to Resurrection Sunday. He was mocked and slugged for you. Again, that's a harsh thing to kind of wake up to, but the reality that the creator of the world, the Logos, the one who created with his words, the word, Jesus is the Logos, the one who spoke creation into place, the second person of the Holy Trinity who came to this earth out of the love of the Father and the love of the Son to redeem us. And what he found here was people who were more uh, um, in love with darkness than light and who rejected him. And, and the picture of, of, of Jesus's uh, arrest and where the soldiers and many others, the Pharisees, and, and he moves on to Herod and Pilate, they mocked him, they uh, persecuted him. But he did all of that for us. He went through all of that for us. It tells us in Luke 22, starting in verse 63, it says, Now the men who were holding Jesus' custody were mocking him as they beat him. They also blindfolded him and kept asking him, Prophesy, who is it that struck you? And they said many other things against him, blaspheming him. Um, he went through a lot of trauma for us. But Jesus tells us in the Sermon on the Mount, he says this. He says, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. And Jesus, many other times in the New Testament, says that if they've persecuted him, they're surely going to persecute his, his followers and mock his followers. And I just ask you, especially in this day and age that we live, is when was the last time you were mocked for being a follower of Jesus? When was the last time that you were slugged or persecuted for following Jesus? Today, there's more uh, of our brothers and sisters around the world who are being persecuted uh, for being followers of Jesus than ever before. But I fear that here in America that we're, we're pretty soft, is that we don't really know what persecution is. So let's bring it down to what we can understand, is that he went through all that for us and expected us to be a stand for light in a dark world. He expected us to be a witness for him, especially this Easter week. I just ask you, is there a passion to share his name? Is there a passion to share his goodness? Is there a passion to share with someone what your Lord has done for you? Or are we more concerned, which we all struggle with this, about being people pleasers, about what they're going to say or what they're going to do? Um, when was the last time you were truly mocked for being a follower of Jesus? Um, again, we can do all kinds of stupid stuff to, to get mocked, but when was the last time out of true love and sharing the gospel that we were mocked? And we need to remember what, that he was mocked. He was slugged for us. And when we understand the love that our Savior had for, has for us is that we are that much more able to exhibit that love to others and share the goodness of Jesus with others. He was slugged. He was mocked for us. Let's let that love uh, move us this week, this Easter week. Blessings.